Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir Cat. Hope all are doing fine. In this video, I deal with one of the exclusive and most frequently queried topic in AutoCAD. The topic is creating a high resolution image from an AutoCAD 2D drawing or from a 3D model. When do we need a high resolution image? We need a high resolution image for the purpose of conducting a presentation in a high resolution file. Something like a personal profile or a company profile etc. You also need a high resolution image when you go for a plot in large formats something like A1 size or in A0 size as per Indian standards or in C size or D size as per American standard. So before we move on to the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir Cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. So all of you be seated, relax and enjoy the topic. So let's get started. In order to create a high resolution image from a drawing, you have to install a plotter manager. This can be done in two different ways. You can click on the application button, then go to print and you can click on the manage plotters option. Or else you can input plotter manager using the keyboard. Now you can double click on add a plotter wizard and here you will get a wizard click on next when my computer radio button is selected click on next and from the manufacturers list you can choose a raster file formats a raster file is nothing but an image file then from the models list you can choose the tiff and you will get two options of tiff you can choose tiff version 6 uncompressed and this is nothing but a high resolution image file format. Now click on next again in the wizard and one more next and next and you can give a plotter name which can be a suitable name or you can choose the default name. I'll choose the TIFF version 6 uncompressed which is the default name and click on next and finish. Now you will see that you have added a plotter configuration with the name TIFF version 6 uncompressed. Now I am going to create a high resolution image from one of my recent projects. For that I have to first plot this drawing to a TIFF file. So I will click on application button, print and here from the printer plotter list you can see the plotter configuration which you have created just now which is TIFF version 6 uncompressed. Now it will ask you whether you want to use the default paper size of this particular value or you can use a custom paper size or you can use custom paper size and add it to the plotter configuration. I'll choose the third option. Now when you click on the paper size list, you will see the options of various image files with the corresponding resolution. Now I want a very high resolution. So I'm going to create a custom resolution. For that just click on properties and uh, click on the device and document settings tab and here you have custom paper size option. Select the custom paper size and you can add a paper size. Start from the scratch radio button is active. So click on next and here you can input any desired resolution. You can either enter a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 or else you can enter an ultra HD resolution of 3840 by 2160 or else you can give an 8K ultra HD resolution of 7680 by 4320 pixels. I'll go for that. And I'll click on next. Now you can see the paper size name as user1 and the resolution is displayed. And give next and finish. And you can just give OK here. Now when you click on the paper size, you can see the user defined resolution here which is the 8K Ultra HD resolution and you can see the preview here and the paper size. Now I'll click on center the plot 
and I'll preview it. Now this is how it is previewed. Now right click exit and I'll click on landscape orientation and preview again. Now you can see that it fills up the entire paper. Also make sure that center the plot is active and give OK. And you can choose a file location. Here I'll name it as project.tiff and save. Now it's creating the high resolution TIFF file. I'll open this file which is created on the desktop. What's the speciality of this TIFF file? TIFF is a raster image file format and it is an abbreviation of tagged image file format. It's a high quality image file because it contains 24 bit colors. 24 bit stands for 16.7 million colors because of which the file size of a TIFF will be huge. A TIFF is generally preferred for large format printing. Now let's check the file size of this TIFF file. I'll just select or right click and go to properties. And you can see that the file size is 126 megabytes. It's that big. You can also check the number of pixels by clicking on the details tab and you can see that there are 7680 by 4320 pixels. That means it's 8K Ultra HD. Now let's open the file again. And when you try to zoom the image, since it's the high resolution one, you can see that there won't be any pixelation or blurriness in the image. That is the advantage of a high resolution image. Suppose if your requirement is to incorporate this image file in a presentation, then you will find it a bit difficult to manage such a huge file. So in such a situation, you can open this file in an image processing software like Adobe Photoshop and save this file in a compressed image file format such as JPEG. So let's try that. I'll open Adobe Photoshop. Then I'll open the TIFF file here. And you can save this file in JPEG format. So select JPEG as the file format and a JPEG file will be created with the same file name. So I'll click on save. Here you can specify the compression. If you select high compression, this will be the file size. If you select maximum, it will be slightly huge, but there won't be any deterioration in the quality. So I'll select maximum and I'll give OK. Here we have created a JPEG version of the same file. Now just select right click and go to properties and when you check for the file size you can see that it's only 1.93 megabytes which is much much smaller than its corresponding TIFF version. You know that JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Experts Group and it's a compressed image file format. The compression is primarily achieved by compressing the color palette. But the JPEG algorithm is developed in such a way that our naked eye cannot make out the difference in the colors while compressing it. Now let's open this JPEG file and check the colors. You can't make out any difference. Hence JPEG is preferred if you want to incorporate this image file in a presentation that has to be conducted in a computer. But for printing, TIFF is always a preferred standard. So that's the procedure. Please don't forget to hit the like button of this video if you liked it. And I once again urge you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir CAD. In the next video, I'll introduce you to a new CAD software with some exciting new features. Bye bye and take care. May God bless you all. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group Sabir CAD. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box. Also, don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced, project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses, 
you will get lifetime account means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses you will also get all future updations of lessons for free you can get all your queries answered through whatsapp chat and mail